Referral mapping. What is it and why is it important to you? Well, in super simple terms, the referral mapping maps out the areas of state interest. So the locations, yeah, location is the right word, that the state government actually has an interest in, a vested interest in. It's important to actually work out whether your site is affected by one of these locations or these mapped areas for a few main reasons. Number one, the state government can have a say over your application and they can pre prescribe additional requirements. Number two, it actually needs to be referred to them so that they can have that say. That costs money. That can cost a couple of thousand dollars. It can cost a lot more than a couple of thousand dollars. And number three, the time delay. So by referring it to the state government, it eats up time in the assessment process. So in today's video, we're gonna look at the DA mapping, the referral mapping. So how you can search your site to check whether this is actually gonna be an implication or a consideration, I should say, for your next job. If that sounds like it's something that interests you, stick around. Okay, so if you saw the earlier SEQ regional plan mapping video, you're gonna have a sense of deja vu here because the process we're gonna follow at the very beginning is very, very similar. So what you need to do is go to Google and let's type in, oh, how should we look for it? Let's try referral mapping and just see if it takes us to where I think I want to go. Why is my keyboard not working today? Let's give that a shot. Ding, ding, ding. Ah, it worked. Okay, so we wanna go SPP interactive mapping system. That's the good stuff. Okay, so now we just wait for it to load. Let's play a little hold music. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you thought music was never my forte. Okay, so let's go down to online mapping portal. Now, what you want is this DA mapping system one. So you just click on that and we'll just wait for the pop-up to appear. Let's try that again. Let me try clicking over here. Sometimes it doesn't like me. Sometimes it doesn't want to work. <laughs> We'll just keep trying. We'll just keep clicking until eventually it does pop up and it does open. Do, 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 do. There we go. We've got some action. Okay, just waiting for that to... Well, let's maximise it while we wait for it to load. Again, we'll go with the good old hold music. Do, do, do. <laughs> there we go. Okay, we want start. Now, let's come up here and search for land parcel street address. Let's go our local post office, as we always do. Days, road, and you select from the drop downs, the range, and then we go search. And we just wait for it to load. Do, do, do. <laughs> I really should learn some better hold music, hey? <laughs> okay, so once it's loaded, I come up here and I click on the X and I use my mouse to recenter. So I'm essentially holding down and dragging the image. And then I come up here and I want show DA layers. Now, you can't open up that. I'm just gonna close it straight away. Come over here. I like to turn the SEQ regional plan off because that's just a bit of white noise in the background. It confuses things. I also like to turn off the water resource planning area boundary because again, that's, a non that's just white noise. <laughs> I don't know if that's the right analogy to use, but anyway, it's distracting. It doesn't show what you need to see. Now, if we zoom out, hopefully we will start to see some other color coding appearing. If not, I haven't turned things on correctly. Let's work out what's going on here. Why did that not work? Hmm. That is not what I expected. Nothing's turned on. Why did that not work? See, when I click the search DA mapping layers, that should have turned everything on. Hmm. Okay, let's <laughs> shame everyone else is gonna face the same issue I have. Let's come over here, we'll get rid of the SEQ. We're gonna work, work it out as I go here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is go through and manually turn on each one of these. And do, 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 do. Actually, Coastal Hazard, you don't, again, that's a white noise one, you don't need to worry about that. I can tell you now it's not gonna be an issue. Man, this, this is painful. It should have just loaded. Why didn't that load? Anyway, like I said, I'm teaching you the workaround if you do have this problem in the future. And do, 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 do. again, we'll play some hold music while we're coming down here. State transport, that's the biggie. That's the one that we see the most of. There we go. Now we're starting to see some coloring. This is what I was expected to see when I clicked that show DA layer. Jeez, don't know what's going on. Almost there, bear with me. Do, 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 do. Excluded and lucky last, okay. So now what you see here is a heap of color coding. That color coding, like I suggested in the intro, indicates areas that the state government has an interest in. As you would have seen as I've gone through clicking all those things, hey, there's the benefit. You've got to see what actually goes into it. You would see that they represent different things like state controlled roads, heritage listed sites, 
energetic sites, all of that sort of stuff. So essentially you want to turn on that, hopefully it works automatically, if not you manually turn it all on and you just see if it actually affects the site. If we zoom in here, you'll see there's no colouring once it actually loads on our property, but if our property had been this one here, or if our property had been over the other side over here, maybe along the train line, totally different story. So there you go, that's all I wanted to show you today. Hopefully that video helps. As always, if you've got any questions, I'd encourage you to continue the conversation below. Thanks for watching. Okay, so as soon as I hit stop record on this video, it hit me. I suddenly realized why that overlay mapping wasn't actually showing when I hit the show DA mapping layers. It will only show mapping or coloring that affects the subject site. So if your property is not actually affected or constrained by any referral mapping, then it won't automatically turn those layers on, which is obviously a positive thing because it's a shortcut. So essentially turn that on if no coloring comes up or if you're just curious to see what's in the area, that's when you need to go through manually and turn on each of the layers like I showed you. Glad I finally cracked it because that was gonna drive me insane. Anyway, again, thanks for watching. For all you red tape lovers out there, I have one thing to say. Well, no, actually, I've got three. Number one, the advice provided in these videos is general in nature. It's not site specific. You would be a silly billy to go and make financial decisions based on this advice without first checking with the town planner. Don't be a silly billy. Number two, Brisbane Town Planning is in no way linked to Brisbane City Council. The views expressed in these videos are my own, not council's. So if you don't like them, blame me, not council. Number three, what was my number three? Oh yeah, the views expressed in these videos are accurate at the time of recording. If you're watching this video back 10 years from now, the views may not be so accurate. That's all.